Hello everyone, welcome back to this series called Finance Current Affairs. In this very series, we pick up some important financial topics and we try and discuss them with the help of different questions. So before I start with first question, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified about all our upcoming videos which can be really very helpful for you all. Moreover, if you want the free PDF of this very session, then please join the Telegram group. The link is in the description below. We provide all the free PDFs on that very group only. So now let's come to the first question that says, which of the following is correctly related to economic survey? So recently the economic survey as well as the budget was out. Okay, I'm not going to discuss the entire economic survey and the entire budget again because that is already covered on our channel by Manish sir, by Anut sir. Okay, he discussed a brief summary about the economic survey and soon would come out with the detailed uh, survey as well. Moreover, Manish sir has already covered the budget. So what I am going to cover today is one of the chapters from economic survey called the uh, cha the chapter is on monetary management and financial intermediation. So, this chapter ko is survey mein se mein discuss karne wali hu, which talks about the monetary policy formulated, the liquidity operations being carried out during the time of pandemic. So, pandemic ke time pe hamara kya monetary developments rahe, liquidity kaisi rahe, liquidity ke liye kya initiatives liye gaye, banking sector kaisa raha, NBFCs kaise rahe, IBC code and all these things are covered in this chapter okay so i'm going to cover this very chapter only and as far as the budget is concerned so i'll pick up some financial and banking related aspects from the budget all right so that is what i'm going to cover today so i hope you are aware about the basic difference between economic survey and the budget anud sir covered it in his session where uh, economic survey is basically backward looking where we see what economic developments have happened during the past year okay moreover budget is more forward looking as to from where we are going to earn the revenue in future and what will it be spent on so that's the basic difference now rather than discussing the question first let's discuss this chapter of the economic survey and then we'll come to the question and answer it so moving on to this very chapter as i have already mentioned we will cover the different policy monetary policy initiatives taken different liquidity operations carried out during the pandemic pandemic ke time pe system ko aur safe banane ke liye aur resilient aur strong banane ke liye bahut se initiatives liye gaye accommodative monetary policy was followed various regulatory dispensions came up asset classification into the npas what put was put on a standstill temporary moratoriums were offered then various measures were taken to increase the liquidity in the economy economy mein log, uh, money supply bade logo ke paas paisa pahunche economy ko ek boost mile uski growth ho iske liye bhi bahut se initiatives liye gaye which i'll be covering further reduction in the crr happens the repo rate to work out gsec program and many more initiatives were taken all right so let's start with the first part of this chapter sabse pehle is chapter mein baat ki gayi hai monetary developments ki what monetary policy initiatives have been taken to support the economy during the pandemic in the past year. So, uh, in various sessions, I have already covered that how RBI's monetary policy has been formulated, keeping in mind the ongoing pandemic, the need for the growth and the inflation as well. So, time to time, the uh, rates were cut, then the mon accommodative monetary policy stance was continued. There was a in need to increase the supply of money in the economy. So, RBI has taken care of that very thing. Okay, so since May, the policy rates have been on hold. So, if I talk about policy rates, it comprises of your repo rate, reverse repo, bank rate and MSF rate. So, May 2020, these rates were reduced and until now, same chal rahe hain koi changes nahi kiye aa gaye you can see from 22nd may 2020 repo rate is at 4% reverse repo at 3.35 msf and bank rate at 4.25 so ye jo pandemic ke time pe reduce hue rates okay ab ye kafi time se same chal rahe hain rbi is continuing with the accommodative monetary policy stance which means it's continuing to increase the supply of money in the economy as long as it's needed to revive the economy to help it grow 
and all this is done keeping in mind the target inflation rate of 2 to 6 percent at times the inflation reached the upper threshold at times it exceeded it as well but still uh, for a long period of time it has been within the rbi's target level so keeping that in mind this uh, this very monetary policy has been formulated so agar rates kam honge kam rates pe hame loans milenge to log zyada loans le payenge wo money wo businesses mein alag alag jagah invest kar payenge and that can help economy to revive back all right so these are the monetary developments along with that the reserve money and the broad money the supply growth of these in 2021 20, 22 is so far lower than that in the previous year. So, if you previous year, 21-22, 21-22, the supply growth was in previous year, ke bhe, thoda sa supply, money supply growth kam raha. See, M0, M1, M2, M3, M4, what are these? These are the measures of money supply. We can measure kar sakte hai money supply. Kitna raha. So, there is a slight decline in the growth of the money supply as far as the reserve money and broad money are concerned broad money supply are concerned reserve money m0 mein kya aata hai? it includes it's basically the it's also called the high powered component of your money supply it's highly liquid is mein aapki aa jati hai jo bhi currency hai in circulation plus jo bhi banks ke deposits se rbi ke saath aur jo baki rbi ke paas deposits hai so currency in circulation bankers deposits with rbi and other deposits with rbi other deposits mein aa jati hai aapki rbi ke paas wo deposits hai from foreign central banks from some financial institutions then uh, there is a fund called the depositor education and awareness fund so ye sab isme aa jata hai M1 is narrow money, which includes currency with public. Jo bank ke paas hai, wo nahi. Jo public ke paas currency hai, that plus jo demand deposits hai with the banking sector plus other deposits with RBI. Then M2 is M1 plus the post office savings deposits. Then talking about the broad money, which has been talked about over here. So broad money is nothing but narrow money plus time deposits with the banking system. So M1 mein demand deposits hai thi, time deposits nahi hai thi, wo M3 mein include ho jati hai. And then M4 is M3 plus total post office deposits. So economic survey tells that the reserve money, that is M0 and broad money, that is M3, supply growth in 2021-22 so far was lower than that was in the previous year now moving ahead to the next part of this very chapter that is liquidity conditions and management so liquidity kaisi rahi deficit mein raha ya surplus mein rahi acha khasa supply hua economy mein money ka and what initiatives have been taken if any to increase or decrease the liquidity so we all know during the pandemic there was need to supply money in the economy to pump some money so that people have it available to help them revive okay so liquidity has remained in surplus since mid 2019 covid start hua tab se hi necessary support mila monetary conditions were eased and there was an increase in supply and money in the economy moreover it was further eased in 2020 2021 after the pandemic so pandemic or severe hone laga jis wajah se aur zyada relaxations mile liquidity conditions further eased and it increased the supply of money in the economy. It increased the liquidity. So, ample surplus liquidity rahi hai 2020-21 mein. 2021-2022 so far, agar hum baat kare. So, in this very year, the RBI resumed normal liquidity operations in a phased manner and rebalanced the liquidity with the reverse record. So, 2019 to 2020-2021, kafi initiatives gaya to increase the liquidity. Then we saw the situation of the economy improving and thus there was a need to at least balance the supply of liquidity. Ye nahi ki aap paisa pump kiye ja rahe economy mein or need na ho tabhi. So, when once uh, it happens that the liquidity uh, is beyond the needed level, then there is need to rebalance it as well. So, that is done through the reverse repos. Okay. And at the same time, it is ensured that adequate liquidity in the system is there with the accommodative monetary policy stance. So, excess liquidity ko rebalance karna hai, uske liye reverse repo hai. Fir bhi jaha jaha zarurat padegi, to tab tak accommodative monetary policy stance chalta rahega and the supply of money will also be there in the economy. Jaha tak support needed hai, maha tak support milta rahega. Alright. The liquidity conditions in 2021-2022 so far have remained in 
सर्कुलर्स ठीक है सो so, 2019 से 2021 2022 तक ये लिक्विडिटी कंडीशन इकोनॉमी की सर्कुलर्स में ही है नाउ मूविंग अहेड सो व्हाट मेजर्स हैव बीन टेकन to provide the liquidity support liquidity provide karne ke liye is past year mein bahut se measures liye gaye okay we have been discussing all these in some of the other rbi report in some of the other notification of rbi that i covered in the sessions so this survey basically indicates all those measures ye unse alag nahi hai but because survey mein ye cheeze fir se mentioned hai that's why i'm discussing it once again with you all see this economic survey can be really very helpful when you need to write your descriptive answers it will be helpful in the objective part as well aapke survey se aapke budget se questions aate hain and in descriptive part also it's going to be really very helpful if you have to talk about the condition of the banking sector about the liquidity measures taken by the R bi about initiatives taken by rbi during the pandemic or how has been our banking sector our nbfc sector in the past year so you can quote the points from economic survey if you are going to mention that economic survey indicates this very thing or it mentions this thing then it is going to help you fetch good marks in your descriptive descriptive portion as well so economic survey and budget are very very important for you all और राइट सो आर बी आई ने स्पेशल रीफाइनेंस फैसिलिटीज प्रोवाइड की सब हम डिस्कस कर चुके हैं पहले सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू मैंशन इट वंस अगैन सो स्पेशल रीफाइनेंस फैसिलिटीज वर प्रोवाइड टू ऑल इंडिया फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन टू नबार्ड सिडी एन एच पी टर्म लिक्विडिटी फैसिलिटी वॉज प्रोवाइडेड टू हेल्प दी हेल्थ केयर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर स्पेशल लॉन्ग टर्म रेपो ऑपरेशन फॉर स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक टू सपोर्ट एम एस एम ईज एंड स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज को सपोर्ट करने के लिए स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक स्पेशल एल टी आर ओज के अंडर लोन्स ले सकते हैं आर बी आई से ऑन टैप लिक्विडिटी विंडो फॉर कॉन्टैक्ट इंटेंसिव सेक्टर्स कॉन्टैक्ट इंटेंसिव सेक्टर सबसे ज्यादा इम्पैक्ट हुए थे कोविड से सो इनको सपोर्ट प्रोवाइड किया गया देन वेरियस टी एल टी आर ओज टारगेटेड लॉन्ग टर्म ऑपरेशन द जी सैप प्रोग्राम गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटी एक्विजिशन प्रोग्राम लाइक ओ एम ओज the gsaps was started where before had only it was told that this much is going to be the acquisition or the sale of the government securities all right so this is how rbi has provided liquidity support all right now coming to the banking sector so is year mein banking sector ki performance kaisi rahi so we'll cover few indicators of the scheduled commercial banks like your npa ratios your capital which they have maintained what has been the return which they have been getting okay so banking sector ki performance kafi achhi rahi hai if i talk about the banking sectors gross and net npa ratio the less the npa ratio the better it is matlab kam npas ho rahe hain so gnpa ratio of this scheduled commercial bank decreased from 7.5% in september 2020 to 6.9 in september 2021 so jo 7.5% pe tha ek saal pehle wo gnpa ratio kam ho ke 69 6.9% ho gaya and nnpa jo 6% tha it declined from that to 2.2% during same period so aap dekh sakte ho decline and it's basically a good indicator then coming to the capital to risk weighted assets how much capital are the banks maintaining against the risky assets the more the capital they maintain the more it will help them during the stressed times so uh, the crar maintained by scheduled commercial banks continued to increase from 13% in 2013-14 to 16.54% at the end of september 2021 so banks jo crar maintain kar rahe hain over time wo bada hai and it has increased to this very value at the end of september 2021 talking about the return on assets the return on the equity so public sector banks have had positive returns all right and then another initiative which was taken to clean up the banking system was introducing the bad bank to resolve npas npas ki problem badhti to hai over time badi hai although pandemic ke time pe thoda sa reduce hua because there was a standstill on asset classification as the npas but still the problem of npas is growing in india and ibc code is there sfic act is there to deal with that another initiative was taken that was setting up of the bad bank the narcl idrcl setup taki banks ki balance sheets are clear ho unke npas properly handled ho sake now talking about the bank credit growth so bank 
the credit which banks have been providing its growth in 2021-2022 is up from 5.3% in the beginning to 9.2% annually on 31st december 2021 so hame increase dekhne ko mil raha hai bank ki credit growth mein and major increase is in the agriculture sector as well as the industrial sector has shown the improvements but service sector is red yet to revive service sector mein credit growth bahut achhi nahi hui hai there is a need to recover more now coming to in the digital payments so we all know that pandemic has given a big boost to the digital payments more and more financial transactions happening today are digital humne digital mediums ko bahut zyada accept kar liya in fact upi became the largest retail payment system in india in terms of volume of transactions itni zyada transactions hui upi se ki wo largest retail payment system hai hamari country ka as of now now people instead of preferring to go to a bank and make the payments through the checks or transfer the money to the bank or um using more of cash now they are preferring upi upi as a payment option in ipo was also introduced for the for making payment in the ipo by the retail investors by sebi sebi ne upi ko ipos mein bhi as a payment option introduce kiya is going past year mein और क्या क्या हुआ डिजिटल पेमेंट्स रिलेटेड इस पास ईयर में ई रूपी वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस आर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक वाउचर्स राइट सो देर इज नो नीड टू हैव अ स्मार्ट फोन देर इज नो नीड टू हैव इंटरनेट कनेक्शन फॉर दिस वेरी ई रूपी इस पर मैंने अलग से एक सेशन दिया था इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन गो एंड वॉच दैट सेशन देन आई एम पी एस की लिमिट इंक्रीज कर दी गई थी फ्रॉम टू लाख टू फाइव लाख डिजिटल पेमेंट इंडेक्स इंट्रोड्यूस की गई थी रिसेंटली मैंने इस पर एक सेशन भी लिया था दैट uh this index september data is out that it's at 304.06% which is an increased in which has increased from march 2021 that shows more acceptance of the digital payments in india okay so ye tha hamara ek digital payments ke bare mein overview what the service says now coming to the nbfcs so nbfcs growth continued their credit growth remains sluggish in 2021 2022 so nbfcs ki jo credit growth rahi hai wo bahut zyada nahi rahi marginal improvement hui hai from 27.53 lakh in 2021 march to 28.03 lakh in september 2021 so march se september tak pichle saal thoda sa increase hua hai all right industry remained the largest just recipient of credit extended by nbfc sabse zyada jo credit gaya hai nbfc ke end se wo industries ko gaya hai then to the then in the form of retail loans now talking about the npas of the nbfc so gnpa ratio was higher at 6.5% at the end of september 2021 compared to what it was at the end of march 2021 so slight increase hua hai npas mein which is not a good indicator नेट एन पी ए ऑलमोस्ट मार्च के मुकाबले सेप्टेम्बर में सेम ही रहे हैं एंड दी सी आर ए आर रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर एन डी एफ सीज इज फिफ्टीन परसेंट बट दे हैव मेनटेन गुड सी आर ए आर एट ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स फोर परसेंट रिक्वायरमेंट के मुकाबले सेप्टेम्बर एंड तक एन बी एफ सी काफी अच्छी कैपिटल मेनटेन कर रहा है अगेंस्ट है रिस्की असेट्स और राइट सो दिस वॉज अबाउट दी एन बी एफ सी सेक्टर नाउ कमिंग टू दी कैपिटल मार्केट्स कैपिटल मार्केट्स में हमारे क्या क्या डेवलपमेंट्स हुए हैं लेट्स डिस्कस दैट सो टॉकिंग अबाउट आर प्राइमरी मार्केट इन दी पास्ट ईयर वी हैव सीन इन दी पास्ट ईयर एंड सो फार इन दी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वी हैव सीन एक्सेप्शनल ग्रोथ इन दी कैपिटल मार्केट्स कैपिटल मार्केट्स हमारी काफी ज्यादा ग्रो की है इनफैक्ट वी हैव सीन अ लॉट ऑफ आई पी ओज इन दी पास्ट ईयर various new tech companies came up new age companies came up unicorns emerged lot of fund raising has happened through the ipo so capital markets ko ek bada boost mila hai in fact 89066 crore was raised via 75 ipos in the in the time period between april to november 2021 and that's exceptional as far as the primary markets are concerned then talking about an index the MSCI emerging market index so agar hum is index ki baat kare ye kya hai see it's basically an index which was introduced in 2001 who introduced it 2001 mein ye index aayi kisne introduce ki thi it was created by MSCI incorporation jise hum pehle morgan stanley capital international kehte the and what does this index show 
See, it tracks the equity performance of various large and mid-cap companies across 25 emerging markets, including India. 25 emerging markets. Ki. Emerging markets. Emerging market countries, which is India, are different companies' ki equity performance ko index track. Hai. Around 1420 listed entities across various emerging economies are part of this index, which is equity performance is index ke through track. Ki jati hai. There are different criteria to become part of this index. There is a need, to, a need for the market capitalization to have certain stock liquidity. Okay, so that criteria is there and this index is used by various global investors when they make their investment strategy so index plays a really very important role in making an investment okay index se hum kisi bhi uh, market ki position track kar sakte hai, how it is doing okay then various index linked products are there in which, we, in which we can invest so many global investors use it and uh, use various types of indices and msci em is one such index Okay, so India ka jo is index mein weight hoga, it will play an important role in attracting FPI investments in Indian markets. Okay, so over time the India's weight in this index has increased. Agar aap dekho, so uh, in 2018, India's share was 9.32% and which was decreased a bit to 8.30 in 2020 because more countries were added to it, more companies were added to this index. But since then, you can see in December 2020, it increased to 9.25 in uh, December 2021, it increased to 12.45. So India ka weightage is index mein bada hai because government relaxed the FPI limit for the Indian companies in 2020. Increased limit helped in increasing the weightage of the Indian securities in various indices including this very index. Okay. Now coming ahead to the retail participation in the capital markets. So, zada se zada investors ne ab ye stock markets mein invest karna shuru kar diya hai. There was an increase in the number of new registrations with NSC. Okay, kaafi naye logo ne investments karna shuru kar di hai and that's why we have seen the stock markets rising. There has been increased participation. The turnover of NSC has increased. There has been increase in the share of individual investors because new investors have registered with this these exchanges all right now moving ahead to the benchmark indices which is our sensex or nifty hai. so these indices increased by 17.7 and 18.1 percent between april to december 2021 in indexes we have increased dekhne ko mila. in fact covid vaccinations were rolled out there were improved earnings opening of the businesses and that led to nifty and sensex scaling up to touch its peak Wo peak values pe pohaj gaye the Sensex or Nifty. Okay. And if we compare the performance of our market with other emerging economies, then Indian markets have outperformed them during this April to December time period. So Indian economy ne kafi better perform kiya hai as far as the emerging market economies are concerned. Alright. Now, talking about the pension sector, so there is a new pension scheme, there is Atal Pension Yojana, there has been an increase in the subscribers who are utilizing these schemes. Now coming to IBC, the most important thing for us, the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code. NPA ki problem ke saar deal karne ke liye IBC code hai. Okay, but it was put on a standstill, it was put on a hold. But when that uh, thing was re relaxed, it was suspended, the process of insolvency was suspended, kiya gaya tha, usko jab relaxation mila, then the cases continued to decline because resolution started. Also, a pre-packaged insolvency resolution program was introduced for the MSMEs. I have already taken a session on this. Okay, if you have not watched that, you can go and watch those sessions. Okay, then the main thing is cross-border insolvency, which has also been focused upon in the budget. Now, we will budget in the budget. See, when uh, there are people who owe the money and uh, they come under the resolution process, their assets might not just be restricted to India. It might happen that their assets are in more than one country. So, whatever insolvent debtor is, its assets are in different countries. Mein ho sakte hai. And if I talk about our IBC code, it does not take into consideration those international assets helping in the resolution. That's not happening. There are various insolvency cases in which corporations owe assets and liabilities in more than one country. 
अगर हम प्रेजेंट आईबीसी कोड की बात करें तो फॉरेन क्रेडिटर्स दे कैन मेक अ क्लेम अगेंस्ट अ डोमेस्टिक कंपनी बट देयर इज नो प्रोसीजर फॉर रिकॉग्निशन ऑफ इंश्योरेंसी प्रोसीडिंग्स इन अदर कंट्रीज फॉरेन क्रेडिटर्स अपना क्लेम ले सकते हैं इंडिया से लेकिन uh, ऐसा कोई प्रोसीजर नहीं है कि अगर इंसॉलमेंट डेटर है उसके दूसरे कंट्री में एसेट्स है तो रिजॉल्व हो सके वो मैटर सो देर इज अ नीड टू स्टैंडर्डाइज द फ्रेमवर्क फॉर क्रॉस बॉर्डर इंसॉलवेंसी इस पर फोकस करने की जरूरत है और इसके बारे में आगे हम बजट में भी बात करेंगे और राइट सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट दिस चैप्टर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक सर्वे नाउ कमिंग बैक टू आर क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दी करेक्टली रिलेटेड स्टेटमेंट्स ओके जो इकोनॉमिक सर्वे से करेक्टली रिलेटेड है जी एन पी एंड एन एन पी रेशियोल कमर्शियल बैंक कंटिन्यू टू डिक्लाइन यही कहा है सर्वे ने इट्स करेक्ट यू पी आई इज करेंटली द सिंगल लार्जेस्ट रिटेल पेमेंट सिस्टम इन द कंट्री दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट जी एन पी ए ऑफ एन बी एफ सी वॉज हायर एज कम्पेयर टू द मार्च ट्वेंटी बैंक क्रेडिट ग्रोथ एक्सिलेटेड इन ट्वेंटी सही है सो ऑल दीज स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ई Coming to second question now. That says, identify the index created by Morgan Stanley Capital International that tracks equity performance capturing large and mid-cap com- mid-cap companies across 25 emerging economies, including India. So, abhi humne discuss ki MSCI Emerging Market Index. Okay. अगर हमने डिस्कस नहीं की होती यू माइट हैव बीन कंफ्यूज्ड। सी एम एस सी आई वर्ल्ड इंडेक्स डज नॉट कवर द इमर्जिंग मार्केट इट्स कवर्ड बाय एम एस सी आई ई एम इंडेक्स एम एस सी आई ई एफ ई एंड जी सी सी आर रीजनल इंडेक्सेज रिलेटेड टू यूरोप एंड दी गल्फ कंट्रीज और राइट सो आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए नाउ कमिंग टू द बजट ओके दिस क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू बजट दैट यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द स्टेटमेंट इन करेक्टली रिलेटेड टू इट सो लेट्स डिस्कस द बैंकिंग एंड फाइनेंशियल एस्पेक्ट विच हैव बीन कवर्ड इन द बजट फॉर अपकमिंग ईयर 2022, 2023 के लिए जो बजट बनाया गया है उसमें बैंकिंग रिलेटेड क्या इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट्स हैं जिनको कवर किया गया है सो टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट हैज बीन टॉक अबाउट इज डिजिटल बैंकिंग सो सबसे पहले हम डिजिटल बैंकिंग की बात करेंगे डिजिटल पेमेंट्स में बूस्ट आया है वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन Okay, so keeping all this in mind, it's important to take digital banking to every nook and corner of the country. Just for just say, seventy-five digital banking units will be set up in seventy-five districts of the country by scheduled commercial banks. So specifically, digital banking pe focus karne wale units seventy-five districts me set kiye jayenge. Kitne units? Seventy-five. And then the financial support was provided to the digital payment ecosystem in the previous budget. It will continue in. कमिंग ईयर एज वेल और ये जो भी सपोर्ट फाइनेंशियल सपोर्ट प्रोवाइड किया गया था पिछले साल वो फर्दर कंटिन्यू रहेगा सो दैट मोर डिजिटल पेमेंट कैन बी अडोप्टेड नाउ मूविंग अहेड टू दी आई बी सी कोड सो वी जस्ट टॉक अबाउट द नीड टू हैव अ क्रॉस बॉर्डर इंसॉर्मेंसी रेजोल्यूशन सो द बजट से आई बी सी कोड विल बी अमेंडेड टू इनहेंस दी एफिकेसी ऑफ रेजोल्यूशन प्रोसेस एंड फैसिलिटेड क्रॉस बॉर्डर इंसॉर्मेंसी रेजोल्यूशन तो बजट में ये बजट में ये बात बोल दी गई है कि अब आईबीसी में अमेंडमेंट होगी ताकि क्रॉस बॉर्डर इंसॉल्वेंसी के केसेस भी रिजॉल्व हो सके और राइट सो मूविंग अहेड टू नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट्स ग्रीन बॉन्ड्स सो ग्रीन बॉन्ड्स विल बी इशूड बाय द गवर्नमेंट थ्रू विच इट विल बी बोरोइंग द मनी एंड दैट विल बी यूज फॉर ग्रीन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सो इन्वायरमेंट रिलेटेड है कि पैसा रेज करके ग्रीन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलप करने में यूज किया जाएगा Next is gift IFSC. I have taken various sessions where I talked about International Financial Service Center, International Financial Service Center Authority. So gift is basically an IFSC set up in the set up in India in Gujarat. So various universities and institutions will be allowed in the gift city to offer courses related to financial management, related to fintech, engineering, technology, and all this will help in developing human resource. With who are equipped with financial service and technology. FinTech एक uh, big area है इस समय उनके काफी boost मिल रहा है जैसे so gift city में world class universities अलग अलग courses offer करेंगी जो कि human resource develop करने में help करेगा जो financial services में technology में strong होंगे and they can come up with more innovations in the FinTech sector. And an international arbitration center will be set up in the gift city. For timely settlement of disputes under 
international jurisprudence. So what happens? IFSC, the gift IFSC basically provides you the exposure which is there in the international markets. So there are various international disputes which are likely to arise. So an arbitration center set up in the center, in the city, mein, where all these disputes will be handled timely. This is what the budget says. Next, talking about venture capital and private equity investment. See, these uh, provide the necessary funding to your startups, to your businesses which are not doing well to help those businesses to revive. So, venture capitalists, private equity, paisa jo hota hai, um, high net worth individuals ka, that gets invested in new companies and the startups. And the venture capital and private equity in the past year have invested around 5.5 lakh crores, which has really helped in the growth of the startup, in the growth of the ecosystem. So startups have unicorns emerge, hue, new companies emerge, ho hai, that's because they are getting the support from these venture capitalists. So there is a need to scale up this investment even more. And for that, we need to examine all the regulatory frictions, which are problems, hai, unhe identify karna hai, ta ye investment ko aur zyada boost mile. So budget has said that a committee will be set up which will examine all these issues and suggest the measures to give a boost to the cap venture capital and private equity investment. This will get more and more and more and more boost. This is why a different committee will be set up which different measures suggest and will be implemented so that the venture capital and private equity market can grow more and more. Then, talking about the most important thing that is digital rupee. During the past year, we have um, the uh, cryptocurrency related bill was pending which was not passed and there were confusions as to whether the cryptocurrency is going to get banned or not whether rbi is going to introduce a digital bank the digital currency or not so finally it has been told in the budget that upcoming year rbi is going to come up with its own digital currency the central bank digital currency is exact details nahi share kiye gaye that how it will be introduced what can be done with it but it has just been told that digital currency the central bank digital currency india's digital rupee is going to get introduced okay it will be introduced it might use the blockchain or other such technology 2020 2022 23 may isko introduce kar diya moving ahead to one more thing that is taxing the virtual digital assets now it uh, what i think is virtual digital digital asset is your cryptocurrency as well as your uh, non fungible tokens jo nfts hai jo aapke bitcoin wagaira hai in sab pe ye issue tha ki how they are going to tax one of the major drawbacks of these virtual assets was difficulty to tax them so now it has been told in the budget that the virtual digital assets will be taxed at 30 percent all right so this was all about the cryptocurrency and the virtual assets last thing that i want to cover from budget is the disinvestment target now government disinvests to raise the funding which can be invested in different areas it disinvests to give a boost to the private sector which can help utilize the government lying assets in a more better manner so last year budget's target was around 1.75 lakh crores but that very target was not fulfilled okay expected tha ki privatization kiya jayega bpcl ka sci ka lic ka ipo aayega but there were a lot of procedural delays due to the covid because of which this disinvestment target was not met so in this year's budget the previous year's target has been revised it has been reduced by over 55 percent to 78000 crores to 1.75 lakh crores ka budget tha usko revise kar diya gaya 78000 8000 crore and upcoming year ka jo budget so the disinvestment target set kiya gaya hai, that is 65,000 crores. Alright, so coming back to our question now, we have to identify the incorrect statement related to budget. So necessary amendments in the code will be carried out to enhance the efficacy of resolution process and facilitate cross-border insolvency resolution. Yes, here will IBC code. Hoga. So IBC code may necessary changes kiye jayenge, taki cross-border insolvency focus kiya jaye, it's correct. Sovereign gold bonds will be issued to mobilize green infrastructure. This is also correct. Cryptocurrencies will be banned in 2022-2023. This is not correct. This is not that cryptocurrency will be banned. This is said that CBDC will be introduced. 
Any income from transfer of virtual assets will be taxed at 20%? No, 30%. So third and fourth are incorrect. Answer is option B. Coming to last question now. What is the disinvestment target as per budget 2022-23? So upcoming year ka budget hai 65,000 crores. Pichle saal ka budget tha 1.75 lakh crores. Jisko revise kar diya gaya 78,000. Okay, so answer is option B. This was all for today's session. I hope it was useful for you all. With this, I would like to end up this session. Thank you so much.